Well, it's 8.22 a.m. right now. Already been a somewhat eventful morning because Mochi was kind of sick after the two shots he had, she had from the vet yesterday, Mochi the dog. So she tried to throw up in the middle of the night and then she didn't throw up anything, I don't think, but she pooped twice in the middle of the night, which she doesn't normally do. So something was definitely up. And then I didn't know, but I stepped in her shit because I was wearing slippers, so I didn't know. So I left a trail of shit marks a little bit. I had to clean that up. I had to clean my slippers. Yeah, somewhat eventful morning. Okay, so I'm going to prepare breakfast and then go for a walk early in the morning. Today I'm having lunch with a friend, so I need to get my workouts and all that as soon as possible. So I'll hopefully work out, do my biceps and lateral raises today before lunch and my hour plus long walk. Okay, let's get the day started. Mochi made diarrhea and rubbed her bum on the carpets and mats, so there's shit stains on the carpets and mats, so I'll have to clean it up. I just left it and came out for a walk. Uh, so I'll have to clean it up when I get back. Okay, so today, bicep curls and lateral raises, meeting a friend for lunch, And something I learned yesterday from reading Reality Transurfing was that when it comes to visualizations, you have to visualize the process, not the end goal. You have to visualize the process of what you need to do in order to achieve the goal. So I'm visualizing me doing bicep curls and lateral raises and editing the video afterwards. So I just gotta keep visualizing that kind of process and just take one step towards my goal. So, trying to visualize that. Okay, so the goal is 30 dumbbell curls at 25 pounds and 40 lateral raises at 21 pounds. And I'm gonna try and do it under 20 minutes, hopefully under 18, we'll see, because last time it took just over 18 minutes. So I'm gonna start, start the timer now. Okay, just started the timer. Here we go. Holy shit, it's already getting hot. I'm trying to do what a commenter recommended, which was um, don't loosen the tension at the top. I'm, that's why I'm leaning forward a bit so that I'm not resting the dumbbells. I did it one time just now, but for the most part, trying to not rest at the top, but also just keep squeezing at the top. So don't release tension. That's eight dumbbell curls. Let's get to lateral raises. The same commenter told me don't make my arms parallel when I'm coming down with the lateral raise but keep the tension so don't uh, hold the tension throughout, don't drop it at the very bottom and rest. So I'm trying to do that.
Okay, that's really difficult. That's extremely difficult, not resting at the bottom, but just keep trying to maintain tension. That's 15 curls, 24 lateral raises, about halfway. Oh my god, this is really hard. It's almost 13 minutes, 20 curls, 32 lateral raises, so 10 more curls to go. This is, I don't know if I can beat my last time's record. Man, now I'm only doing like one rep, I can't even do two. That's 26 curls. 44 lateral raises. Four more curls to go. How the hell did I do 30 curls in under 18 minutes last time? It's past 20 minutes now. I have three more curls to go. I'm at 27 curls, 50 lateral raises. I just have one more curl to go. 29 curls, 58 lateral raises. <sighs> 30 curls, 58 lateral raises. The time is almost 24 minutes. God, that was even harder than the last time. I don't know why. It took like Six minutes longer for some reason. Oh man. Holy shit, I'm stuffed. I didn't need to eat anything because I had such a big lunch, but I ended up snacking after I got home and God, I should go for another walk or something. Just try and get this belly down again. Bad decision on my part. The sun is already setting or almost pretty much set already, so if I'm gonna go out for another walk, then it'll have to be with a flashlight. But otherwise, mission accomplished for today. Got my workout in, got my walks in. Here's my step counter. I was getting my old, my mom's old squash racket re-gripped and re-strung. Man, the re-stringing and re-gripping was almost as exp- Oh. What the? The re-stringing and re-gripping was pretty much, it was 45 Canadian dollars, which is pretty much the same price as a brand new racket. I didn't know. Maybe I would. Maybe I should have just bought a new racket instead. Ah, she's so noisy. I should probably cut if I want to lose this and get a proper six pack. Okay, I'm gonna edit this really quick and then read some more. Yesterday I read quite a bit of reality transurfing, so I'm. I want to get through it quickly, get all the highlights, and just read the highlights over and over again. 1% better every day, baby!